everybody, this is Scapaloo, and I'm filming this cool tech video today to show you this one of these cool projects that I'm working on. I came up with it while on my holiday vacation after getting my new Android 7-inch tablet from Dell. It's a Dell View 7. I got its Intel Clover Trail base. It's a pretty nifty little tablet, but I thought, wouldn't it be cool if I could stream my PS3 games to my tablet? And I came up with a kind of a hodgepodge way to do that using some outdated technology and an older computer. So as you can see, we have the PS3, the capture cards there, the PS3 and my computer. I have it hooked up and it's displaying over here currently on my computer. And we're capturing it using uh, Windows Media Player Capture uh, Classic. And uh, just plugged in uh, this USB capture device. It's pretty old, about seven years old. It's from Pinnacle. Um, but it works well enough. It's just standard def. So nothing too fancy, and I'm, I'm sure it would look much better if we had a, I had a higher end uh, capture card, but I don't. So this is I prove more of a proof of concept kind of thing. So what we're gonna do, how after putting Windows Media Player Classic and uh, the program application on it, we're gonna install this program here. I use this free software called Splashtop. Uh, I believe the company's the same name. Uh, Splashtop makes this really cool uh, remote desktop streaming application that allows you to stream content from your PC to your tablet. And there's a companion app that goes on the tablet. It's right here and we're going to launch it. Go ahead and launch it. Uh, it's a completely free product. All you have to do is sign up and make an account and it will work. And so what we'll do is on the tablet here we're going to log into the computer which is called Brave Vesperia. This is my backup computer, and here we are. We're on my computer, and we're gonna go ahead over here and minus that out, and full screen it. And go into full screen. And now, as you can see, now we have my PS3 on my tablet, which is really kind of cool. And we're moving around, and everything's going well. And so I thought I'd play a game and show you how that works. I decided to choose Metal Gear Solid HD Collection because it's not too demanding of a game. Uh, for input latency prob problems and everything, so we're going to check and see how that performs. Now we're focusing on... As you can see, there we go, Metal Gear Solid 3 on the TV and on the tablet, which is kind of cool. I have the audio coming through the tablet, which is also nice. So we're going to go ahead and load Metal Gear Solid 3 here. No, again, it looks kind of blurry because of 480i, but more of a proof of concept. I'm sure if I had a higher end capture card, I could get it to capture at 1080p and stream over. This program is more than willing to do that. And if you paid, uh, if you signed up with Splashtop, you can stream over the internet. I really don't know how that would work, but right now it's streaming over my local uh, wireless network, which is kind of cool. As for controls, I'm using just the standard PS3 controller, which has a ridiculously long range. I can be up in my living room, all the way down here in my basement, and it'll work. It's really impressive. So what we'll do is we'll load up a game real quick, run around. There goes Snake Eater. Uh, load a level up. You see, play Metal Gear Solid 3 HD Edition on my tablet. I'm gonna press start here. Really fun. It's loading up. So it's just basically kind of creating a Wii U type experiment. Yeah, it's loading up. Gonna go ahead and load a game. Yep. I don't remember where I left off here, so hopefully it's not too dark. <laughs> it's a good spot, not too hard, somewhere easy I can just kind of run around. And here we go. Here we go, we got Solid Snake running on screen. Me controlling him with my PS3 controller. As you can see, it's actually not as bad as I thought. Um, not too bad of input lag. Uh, it's pretty responsive actually, so that's kind of cool. Let's see if I can go into the pause the menu here and go into the options and brighten it up a little bit. And the in-game brightness. Where is it? Uh, only normal, third person, caption, brightness adjustment, there we are. Oh, it's for the TV. Anyways. Well, let's see if I can pull it down on my Android. Hang on. Brighten up on my Android app. There we go. Full brightness. Go back to the streamer. There we go. Now it's a little brighter. Go back and run around for a little bit. Ah, something happened. 
between me and the streamer. I think I paused the video feed. There we go. There we go back. If you click the screen, touch the touch screen, it will pause it based on Window Media Player Classic. So here we are running around, just kind of doing our thing. Hopefully we can do that. It's not too bad. I I'm really impressed with it. So I'm I was really happy. And as you can see, we're still, we're not like running an emulator. We're still just running like PS3. And, and so let's let's take it for a test. Let's go up to, from my basement here. And let's go upstairs or to another room. Let's go just walk around and see what happens if we go upstairs or up to a different floor. Like my living room. Ah. Sorry. Or my dining room. How about that? That's close. Not too far away. So we are up the whole floor. Still running. No input lag. Still running around. Really cool. So I can just sit here at the table, pretty much, and just play Metal Gear Solid 3 from my PS, uh, PlayStation 3 at, on my tablet, which is kind of cool. Obviously, depending on where the Wi-Fi range is, uh, if we go, let's try a different spot in the house. Hang on a second. Oops, turned it down. Wi-Fi is better here in the living room. Here we are. Yeah, this is all cool. Don't have any gun. Anyways, I just thought I'd make this quick video to show you. I'll show you off the performance and how it's come along. I'm sh be curious to see if anyone else makes another video showing off, take off whether like a higher end capture card or maybe a faster internet connection, uh, network connection, maybe wired to wireless. That'd be kind of cool. But anyways, I just thought I'd make this quick video and show you what I was up to and what I've been messing around with. Uh, thanks and have a good day. Bye.